hopefully we'll never need them, but they're there for that purpose. Well, this is fairly typical of, uh, the, of what happens on site. We have, we're forming this channel. Uh, there's still more work to do in here, but the groundwater that has come in here from basically from the river next door, uh, we'll have this groundwater, we'll have to get rid of it before we can continue doing uh, the completion of the, of the channel. So from that point there, uh, we will then, we've got a pump here with a sump on here. Uh, the, pump, the pump will draw this water out of here. And it'll pump it into the silt buster up the, road, up the, up the top of the hill there. Uh, the water will go in the left hand side of the silt buster. And then the silt will be taken from it and it will come out the right hand side of the silt buster as clean water. You, you, you would need it in a case where you're, you're working next to the river, uh, you've got water coming from the excavations, you don't know what to do with the water. Uh, the water is taken into the silt buster, the silt's taken out of it, and the water can then uh, be discharged from the silt water, it will be clean from that point onwards, so it's not causing any sediment going into the river. Concrete, cement and BH are obviously very detrimental to the environment. Um, so we take steps in the site in order to ensure that all washout from any concrete deliveries are contained within a concrete washout skip. The skip is signed so that the lorry drivers know where to wash into um, and this affects any or prevents any kind of um, washout occurring. Because we're in the remediation centre here, um, the, the lorries that go back and forward out the, the remediation centre um, to prevent them carting dirt in and out the, or onto the public highway, uh, we've got the rhino wheel wash here that uh, gives the wheels a wash the vehicle down before it enters onto the highway. The site itself is um, beneath the, uh, the groundwater table, so it does mean that we do get an ingress of water. Um, in order to deal with that, we channel the water into a settlement tank. Um, the water goes through a series of filter media in order to um, settle out any suspended solids. Um, the discharge of that water is actually covered on a, under a discharge consent which we obtained from uh, Northern Ireland Environment Agency. So we monitor the uh, quality of the water in line with the consent conditions which have been issued by NIEA. Uh, the conditions include the like of um, no visible oil or grease, uh, pH needs to be between 6 and 9 and uh, obviously there needs to be no uh, suspended solids uh, less than 50 milligrams per litre. The site does, in order to manage our impacts for groundwater and surface water, we have a surface water management plan which has been drawn up in the project at the start of the job prior to us actually commencing on site. Um, and that basically details the procedures and practices that the site team have to follow in order to manage water effectively. Um, as part of that then, the operatives will get ongoing training in water and that will be through toolbox talks. And again, that's just to ensure that they are following the procedures and practices that have been set out. If we were to allow water to wash over fresh concrete, that would certainly have an impact on the pH of the water, so we're quite aware of that and we take steps in order to reduce the contact that water will have with both fresh concrete and concrete fines. So we take steps in order to remove the concrete from the water prior to its discharge. So that's done literally by scraping up the floor, putting it into a separate pile so that the water can run over the concrete and not affect the pH of the water quality. Yeah. Well, we carry out visual inspections um, of any water courses adjacent to the site. Um, we also um, we would use uh, plant nappies under machines that have potential for spillage. Um, it just means that if there is an accidental fuel leak, that we're able to capture that and it can't penetrate into groundwater. Um, other than that, it's the likes of the uh, sediment tank that we're using, and again, it's a bespoke system that we have come up with ourselves in order to uh, filter, filter any uh, sediment that might have built up in the water that we collected.